I want to give you some professional tips on how to help reduce your children and protect them from the diet cultivated mindset. So before I go into depth, the diet cultivated mind is a powerful mind and it's a mind that can cause you to have years and years of struggles with body and food. And as women, it's one that we're affected by from an extremely young age. In fact, studies now show that young girls as age, as young as six years old, which breaks my heart, say that they're on a diet and are conscious about their bodies. What can we do to help reduce this? Because as mothers, and I'm a mother myself, what we can do is pass on our own habits. And it never astonishes me, it never surprises me when I sit with a client and they make the realization that many of their difficulties were built in from a young age, from watching parents and aunties and cousins or older sisters struggling with their body and with the diet cultivated mind. So what can we do? Okay, so I'm gonna try and be as brief as possible. One of the first things is watch your language when it comes to the food and body. If you're talking about food in a negative manner, if you're talking about your body in a negative manner, you're building this in to the mind of the child. And this is where it all begins. Think about, am I body checking? Am I constantly comparing what I'm wearing and I'm not looking good enough? This all sits in the back of the child's mind. Am I wearing myself constantly? Are my children hearing me say that I'm on a diet? Are they hearing me battle with the scales? Am I deeming food as good and bad? Am I deeming myself as good and bad, depending on what I've ate? So for example, I've been a real good girl this week, so I'm gonna have this treat at the weekend, or I'm gonna have this cheat at the weekend. Food language is so important. Let's remember that our thoughts very much affect our reaction and our emotion and our behavior. If we are telling ourselves that we are good and bad around food, then it becomes quite clear as to how we become stuck when it comes to what we can and can't eat. Looking at food as treats, this is one of the early stages where we can look at food as a comfort blanket by saying that food is a treat rather than looking at the quality of food and the purpose of nourishment. This, that, this video could go on and on, but one of the main things I wanna get across is it's about promoting positivity, about positivity around the body, about positivity that who we are is most important, about positivity around eating habits, that food is not the enemy, it is neither good, it's neither bad. It's about the quality of the foods that we eat and why we eat it, to nourish ourselves, to ensure that we survive. If you would like any more information on this matter, or if you would like me to do a more in-depth video on any of the points that I've already made that could go on and on, please feel free to reach out below and I would also love to know your thoughts.